To be honest, Lulu Hassan has been on the limelight since her early 20s. 99% of her fans have no idea about her journey to be a successful admired woman she is right now. On this other hand, there are three unseen moments that will shock you as a fan. Did you know that Lulu Hassan was once a video vixen? This is some proof. <laughs> Take your time, like this video to get to know more about Lulu Hassan. Her full names are Lulu Khadija Hassan. She was born on 24th April the year 1986. Lulu Hassan is a radio presenter, a news anchor, a producer and a CEO of Jiffy Pictures. She was born and raised in Mombasa, Kenya, a place known as Mojengo. Lulu Hassan has been raised by a single mother, together with his two siblings, who are only girls, her being the firstborn in the family. After her primary level of studies, she joined Aga Khan Academy where she finished her high school level of education, then joined Sirene Travel Operation College in Mikindani, Mombasa. To train as a human resource manager, cabin crew hostess, and a ticketing officer. Years later, she went back to school to study for communication and journalism. Let's go back to the year 2000, when Lulu Hassan was just a high school kid with passion and dreams to fulfill. <laughs> She used to participate in drama, music festivals. In one of the interviews, she said that she was once taken out of school to go and help a college school that was participating in drama festivals. I remember when college moja ilikuwa disqualified because of me. Came the year 2005, Lulu Hassan as a graduate in human resource, as a ticketing officer, she got her first job ever at Tech Big Limited as a receptionist. Lulu as a receptionist used to pick a lot of calls. So one day, one of her clients told her she has a nice voice and if Lulu has ever tried doing radio or TV, those words made her gain more interest in joining the media industry. 2005, mm, uh -huh. receptionist what? in Mombasa. What? So I used to pick calls. Uh -huh. On the process of working as a receptionist, she used to receive a lot of newspapers for her boss. Lulu Hassan used to read the newspapers a lot. Sometimes she could read loudly for her mother. Jioni, you take the newspapers. Sasa me, I used to take, take the newspapers and end as a home. And then you know what I used to do? Namambia mama kapo ni kusome. So one day, she came across a job opportunity, being advertised on the newspaper, whereby they needed a new radio presenter. Due to poor technology at the moment, the only way Lulu Hassan could get her voice heard was to burn a CD, record a voiceover, and send it to the advertisers. Lulu Hassan got the job at Radio Salam, but there was something wrong. She had not studied for journalism making her become a part-time radio presenter so that she can go back to school and study for communication and journalism. Came the year 2007, she lost her mother while working on radio. Lulu Hassan had to take the role of taking care of her siblings, so she had to look for a more paying job. She tried asking for a job at KBC, but she was not accepted. Back then, before me ended TV, uh, I went to KBC for a screen test. Uh -huh. ya TV, ya, ya TV. On the process, Lulu Hassan got a contract of working as a Swahili presenter in KTN because they needed someone urgently. Two of the TV presenters had gone for maternity. They were impressed by Lulu Hassan's skills, voice, making her obtain a permanent job. Two years later, Lulu Hassan got married to Rashid Abdallah, who is in the same field as her. In an interview, she said that she is really lucky to have an husband as understanding as Rashid Abdallah. Rashid ni bwana mzuri. Ni bwana mzuri, ni rafiki mzuri. 
Sikumbuki ule wakati hata tuligombana ya mbaya mbaya. Mm-mm. Three years later, Lulu Hassan decided to quit KTN and join a popular broadcasting channel, Citizen TV, as a news anchor alongside Kanzen Den. Lulu Hassan and Kanzen Dena's skills and voice captured many eyes. These are some of the reactions. Someone said, beautiful twins, can't wait to see you tonight, in love with you all. Another one said, beautiful ladies, keep it up, I love you guys. While on TV came the year 2013, an idea came to her mind. Maybe it's because during that period, Citizen TV went for a two to three day break, making her realize she needs to do more than being a news anchor. That's when she decided to open a production company known as Jiffy Pictures together with her husband as the director. Jiffy Pictures is a Kenyan production company creating story-driven entertainment. Because Lulu Hassan had experience in the acting field, she was able to produce her first series ever known as Moyo the year 2016, broadcasted at Citizen TV. Na mimi sija kupigia kwa vita. Umeniota kwa mkuki. Hapo pana usalama. Ongea kama mwanamme, acha kulegeza legeza. Hana sina hiyo nini. Then to Huba, the year 2017 broadcasted at Maisha Magic Bongo. Then to Maza, the year 2017 broadcasted at Maisha Magic East. Then to Maria, the year 2019. Then to Kovu, the year 2020. Then to Sultan, the year 2021. Then to Zora, the year 2020. Then to Becky, the year 2023, broadcasted at Citizen TV. Then to Zari, the year 2023, broadcasted at Maisha Magic East. Come on, I'm talking about happy new year, you're happy new year. And you're not going to kill me. There's no coincidence. And many more series and movies are yet to come. After Kanzedena retiring from being a news anchor, Lulu Hassan's husband took over the role. This was one in a million moves in the Kenyan industry. Wow. Even though sometimes it gets tough. Mkuresoi kaskazini county. Lulu Hassan fame has grown so big. Same to her numbers on all social media platforms. In an interview, she said that she misses living as a normal human being. I'm so free. Some at times you want to live your life. Uishi tuka kitambo tutaka kwa baraza tuongee tule. Lulu Hassan together with his husband are blessed with three kids, two boys and one girl. Lulu Hassan's life is changing every downing day. She's among the most paid news anchors in Africa. She is the CEO of Jiffy Pictures Production. She has done a number of advertisements. Her being a brand ambassador of Downy Downy Lavender Concentrate Mpia Hulipo to live on Oja City Sikuzima. She has a net worth of approximately 3 million. Is Lulu Hassan your favorite celebrity? Don't forget to subscribe. Us as Legends Worldwide, we are here to give you facts about your favorite celebrity. Let's go.